So with this beautiful sound current, allow yourself to come to a still but soft place inside that brings you into the boundary of your own skin, the island of you, your body, your consciousness. coming from the place of input in your mind to input in your heart, in your body, in your being. And let the sound current guide you into that place where you feel where you experience on a cellular level the energy of healing that is in the room, the energy of the consciousness, of the entourage, of the family that is here, that we create together in this space of healing and transformation. And the invitation is to go a little more deep, a little more deeply, and a little more deeply, softening, relaxing, receiving, receiving in the energy of the moment, and the energy of the day. Allow yourself, give this gift to yourself, the gift of healing, and the gift of the potentials that are available to you in the energy of cryon. Greetings, dear ones. I'm Cryon of Magnetic Service. I want you to sit here just for a moment. Those listening as well. I want you to ponder what brings you to a place where you would listen to this or be here in an audience in front of me now. Again, we ask you, what is going on with you that would bring you to this place with me? If it is true that I represent that which is from the creative source, then it is also true that I know you. All the things that you have been taught about what you have considered to be God. Not exactly right. The creative source of this universe that is also of your galaxy knows you. I know you. I know you well. Because you're family. And that is how I'm going to speak to you this night in this assemblage and anyone who is listening to say that the energy on this planet is shifting so fast that there are new things to tell you, updates on what we just told you. And this energy is not something you're going to necessarily see on the broadcast or on the net. It's energy you're going to see with you. Some of you will feel this and know it is happening. Others have not experienced it yet. All of you are on such a beautiful, unique path that nothing I say will be for all. Use spiritual logic. I am not here to give you a doctrine that is going to work 
for absolutely every single person here because you, family, are all unique and different and on different levels and paths of awareness. There are some listening to this message who just tuned in to see if it's for them. Do you like the energy or do you not? Do you expect benevolent shift or do you not? We teach that it is here, new energy for you, for the planet, for the way everything works, especially for old souls, is here. I want to reveal to you some basics, some esoterics, some things you ought to know and hear about that maybe you didn't consider before. And all of them are positive, every single one. What is happening on the planet right now is spectacular when it comes to personal energy. In review, we have told you that even that which is changing in space around your solar system is making a difference. For it postures that which is the heliosphere, which speaks to the magnetic grid, which literally enables consciousness. We expected this. Your 2012 time corresponded with a new place your solar system is heading into around the galaxy. It was scheduled. Whether you were here or not, with free choice, it would have happened. But you're here. This begins to change, literally, the energy of the system you call your own around your sun, the magnetics you call your own around the planet, which is related, more than related, to an acceleration of consciousness and awareness. This energy is starting to wake you up, old soul. Old information. You've gone through some calibrations and recalibrations. Not all, but some. There are those listening to my voice who needed to hear that. There's nothing wrong with you, dear one. I know the potential of who is listening to this message. It's beautiful. It's not fortune-telling. I know the potentials, for we see an overview that you cannot in your individual life. It's beautiful to see how these things are starting to mesh together and how seriously you are taking this new energy. I'm going to start with this. Are you a reader? Are you able to sit in front of another human being and through whatever process you think you're doing, are you able then to help them by sensing their energy or that which is around their energy or their health perhaps and give them a reading? Did you know what else is there? Did you put this together yet? Human beings want to put everything in a box. I am in the reader box, <laughs> you will say. What are you doing? What is the process? How are you doing it? We have told you this before. You are a sensitive. And as a sensitive, you are literally sitting in their patterned merkaba, that which is their flower of life, the geometry which makes up the patterning of that which is their Merkaba is literally being seen, recognized, felt, and verbalized by you. Now, what else is there, dear reader, that you may be missing? You are sitting in the perfect spot because you're a sensitive. You're doing exactly what a healer does. Oh, but you're a reader. <laughs> Better not be a healer. <laughs> there's that box. I want you to step out of the box and understand there is one process for all. Reader, healer, past life, regressionist, you're all doing the same thing with the same tools. I want you to try 
and step out of the box. Reader, you're a healer. Now, some of you listening to this right now know I'm right because you've been experiencing it, haven't you? <laughs> you'll read something, you'll give advice, and they come back healed. You realize what you've done, healer? As a sensitive, this energy is expanding anything you thought you were doing. Healer, you're also a reader. You're also a past life regressionist. All of these things you may not want to hear. Learn about them. Understand what is also there because you're in the same soup together. The Merkaba is the Merkaba. The patterns are the patterns. You're not just reading or healing. You have the ability as a sensitive to do it all. That's just one of many things that are starting to change from that which you are used to in the box to what's going on today. Things are expanding for you. There are those of you who started noticing something. You're not a reader, but you are. <laughs> You're picking it up, aren't you? You've said certain things to certain people and their mouth dropped open. How could you know that, they'll say. How do you feel that, they would say. And you're doing it in normal, idle conversation. Are you ready to sit in the reader chair? Dear ones, it's not a reader chair. It's an intuitive chair. As a sensitive, you have marvelous abilities of helping those around you and humanity. Let me give you the big one. Without being a reader or a healer and just walking around with other human beings, you are being sensitive to what it is you can do to help them just by your compassion, the guidance you would have in idle conversation to make suggestions to your friends, to your children, to your mates. Closet reader. <laughs> You're an old soul, and it's beginning to show. How do we label something like this? I don't know. I don't know a word. It's never happened before. An acceleration of cooperation from the other side of the veil to you. We said something extremely controversial. It was in a city you called Austin. We started talking about clearing. <laughs> we made the statement that that which you have done for centuries as light workers has started to shift. We told you you don't have to do manual physical clearing anymore. When you walk into a room, it is not necessary to tone or to smudge or to meditate in order to clear the energy of the room. This is controversial because the room has seen many dark things. It has seen all manner of dark human consciousness. You may be walking into it for the first time and your very intuitive cells are saying, clear this room. So I will not step into the dark. And what we're saying to you right now, dear light worker, you're carrying a beacon of light that the dark will never penetrate, period. It's new. You walk into the room carrying your light and the dark runs from you. You clear it by your presence. How do you like that? Now I would like to alter that. It's not going to work, light worker, if you're going to carry crutches with you, just in case you don't have enough light. <laughs> now, do not misinterpret this. There are some of you who carry with you either psychologically or physically help so you won't get in trouble. Your favorite guardian angel, your favorite crystal, always with you so you won't get in trouble. By those actions which are very common, very understandable, very logical in an old energy, 
By those actions, you're telling your own selves, your own psyche, even your higher self, you don't trust your light. My light's pretty good, but I got my angel. You know, I got my crystal, too. I dare you to get rid of both of them. I dare you. They integrate into you, dear ones. I want you to hold a ceremony. This is what's going to make you feel so much better. I want you to hold a ceremony of integration where you will integrate that which is your favorite anything into your own energy. If you're a healer and you just love St. Germain, for instance, I want you to integrate this saint's powerful energy of violet flame into you. Your favorite crystal, you may have even named it. I know who's here. <laughs> I want you to integrate it and stop carrying it. You're telling your body you're done with crutches because all that you needed before is in you. And you will step into these places more powerful than you've ever been before. Look at the common spiritual sense of what I'm saying. You've graduated, dear one. You now have the energy you ask for in an energy that supports that energy you ask for. Act like it. Claim it. Take it. And the dark will run from you. That's number two. I would like to tell you something that is happening right now on this planet with old souls that we told you long ago would happen. This is a review, but it's not. The review would be that it's on its way. The update is that it's here. Years ago, we told you that there would come a day when the same remedy or process could be presented to many people and only a few would get healed. They'd have the same biology, perhaps even the same gender, the same thing wrong with them, the same process, and only a few would be healed. This comes from years ago, a channeling about the future potential that you would have of healing yourself, and it's here. I spoke of this below before many times many times but it's never been as profound as it is today again I present to you that the consciousness of belief is needed for what you have as the next step in your life of self healing self awareness affirmation Anything you are trying to accomplish right now, even synchronicity, you have got to align yourself with pure intent and believe it before it will happen. I will continue on this subject and this review over and over in future channels so that many can hear it who are not hearing this one. The first step that you can take as you leave this room is cognizing what has happened. Believe it or not. The body picks up on this belief as an absolute it's going to happen. It knows it's going to happen. As you start talking to innate, as you start perhaps decoding the cells, as you work with your own psyche, as you do your own affirmations, own, perhaps, or the processes that you have learned, the energy work that you've studied, or perhaps even sitting in front of a healer. If you have doubt, don't go. You're wasting your time. It's that profound, dear ones. Belief is the key. You must have it in this energy to move to these things and these new tools that we've talked about now for 26 years. 
Is this clear? This is consciousness, is it not? We have spoke of this in the past many times. It's not about actions. It's not how many times you do something. It's about your belief. Is it going to work or is it not? Sometimes this takes time. And over a period of time, belief solidifies into truth. The man who sits in the chair did not start out with 100% belief. It was more like two. <laughs> and every time he sat in the chair, he was given a cause and effect relationship that tweaked his interest as an engineer and problem solver. That was it. That's not a belief in things beyond. That's curiosity. And that became belief the more he did it, the more he saw the results of it. And the more he saw the results of it, he believed in the cause and effect relationship. He got to see it every time, 100%. He cognized it. Something's going to happen when I sit in the chair. That was step one. That took two years. Then it started to happen over and over. He started to get messages. There was things he could not know delivered to him. He started to cognize that. In other words, accept it as his truth. Over a period of long, long experience, it comes to what you see today. When he sits in the chair, he knows I'm going to be here. He knows it's going to be channel time. He looks forward to it. It's absolute and will be because of the love of spirit that he has taken in as his truth. What have you taken in as your truth? Possibility? Could be? Sounds nice? <laughs> I know who's here. I know who's listening. This is a joy for me. For I'm able to tickle that which is your curiosity. To look at yourself. To know yourself. And to think to yourself, well, maybe I should be a little more positive about my truth. And it's going to make a difference. You see, I see potentials. I see the healings that have not happened yet. I get giddy in my chair. For seeing the joy of some of you who don't know what's coming. Beautiful, positive, coming your way. I want you to feel it, dear one. There is a cooperative energy that has never been here before. There is a reason why it's here. There is science behind it. We have given it to you, science that is not yet seen as science. This cooperative energy, I'm going to tell you, is so profound, it begs you to try things again that didn't work before. I'll say it again because that's on somebody's mind here. Trying things again that did not work before. Now, what fool would try something when they know it doesn't work. <laughs> One who knows that the energy has shifted from fool to awareness. Now you know the timing. Now you know the wind is at your back. You're starting to understand intuition on how to do some things that you were in the dark before about. There is a cooperative energy for light workers in particular. Light workers have something that others do not, and it's old soul experience. The more experience you've had on the planet, it's like a well of energy that comes up and supports your logic spiritually. Someone new on the planet would not be able to do what you're doing only because they haven't had the experience yet. 
that you have. Every single past life gives you information that now is starting to stack up and you are being drawn to understand it. You are feeling wiser by the year because of this. Your discernment is starting to change because of this. You're starting to use spiritual logic and come to new aha experiences because of this. Your age doesn't matter. Disconnect the link between your chronological age and the spiritual age on this planet. There are young people here who know that they are very old souls. There are seniors here who also know they are as well. There is no linkage. Dear one, there's a propensity to link it, but don't. Now, there's a reason why this is happening, and we have given you the ABCs of this reasoning. We've asked you to look at it and believe it. It's eye-rolling. When you pass this marker of 2012, you have opened energies called time capsules that were left here by your seed biology, the Pleiadians. We have identified the knolls and the nodes of this planet. You can find it easily. My partner has made it available. You know the pairings of five of them. You know where all of them are. They are slowly starting to open and pour into the grids of this planet tools that you need to enhance what you have. The bottom line is this. Your consciousness is actually related to the magnetic grid of the planet. Now you know why I'm the magnetic master. This has been the plan all along to expose this, that the planet physically is allied to you. The planet itself is one of your grids. We have told you that before. Gaia is alive with you and you with it. We've even told you that the cetaceans of the ocean are also aware of it. They are the storehouses for your Akash. How do you like that? It's in Gaia too. Now what this all means is that these time capsules open and pour information from the Pleiades in real time to the grids of this planet. It affects the speed of your awareness and progress. Fast track, absolute fast track. If you've come in with a consciousness that things are the same, progression will be the same, learning will be the same, you're wrong. Some of you, I promise, are going to be overwhelmed with the speed. <laughs> Some of you already are <laughs> of this energy. I want you to be overwhelmed with tears. I want you to worry. There's nothing wrong with you. How much energy can you receive? You better put a stopper on it. You better tell spirit how much you can take because if you don't, we're just going to pour it at you and tell you, yell uncle. <laughs> That's a colloquialism from my partner. I have no idea what it means. This is good news, dear one. This is great news. We're starting to fill you up, if you'll allow us. Reader, are you ready to expand that box? <laughs> what else is there to expand? You've got some accomplishments you want to do. You've got some things you'd like to change. It's in the works because the wind is at your back. Finally, I would like to tell you about compassionate action one more time. One of the keys to becoming accelerated, more wise, and to understand more about what you can do next, which will enhance what you're here for, is that you would become more compassionate in your life. This is old information. We have given you then since 2012, compassionate action is the key. 
become more like the masters were. But you still don't get it. Your compassion, you're pouring out to a poor person, and you go home and hate a rich neighbor. <laughs> I know who's here. <laughs> I know who's listening. And you're comfortable with that, dear one? Selective compassion. You're comfortable with that? Is that what the masters of the planet did? Did they select who they were going to pour out their love to? Or did it matter to them? Every single human being is here for a reason with a puzzle. Every one of them. The ones you don't like, every one of them. The ones that are frustrating to you, every one of them. Can you look at them with a compassionate heart and see inside it? Why are they troubled? Why are they dysfunctional? Why are they the way they are? A prisoner has taken many lives. He's there forever. He'll never see freedom again. What he's done has been despicable, horrible. When you look at him, how do you feel? You feel sorry for him? And we're not talking about sorry. Can you look into him and see the compassion of his path and what he chose to do this time around, dysfunctional or not, and have compassion for his heart? He will never return it. He may be broken forever psychologically. He may never know you. What did the masters do? That's what they did. You look into the heart of those, no matter who they are, on the street or in your own family, and all you see is God, the face of God, just like with you, just like with you. And what they've done with it is their business, their process and their path. This kind of compassion is going to change your life, and it's going to change the planet you walk on, and it's going to be the key to the success of the old soul. That's compassionate action. It's an update, things we've never said before in this way, for you to hear again and again and again. Old souls, you're biased. You're used to the way things were. For lifetimes, it comes with the territory of being an old soul. Your Akash actually biases you with the way it used to be. Everything that comes forward in your Akash is old energy you. And yet you have to use it. We want you to use it. But we want you to shift it into the new energy you. All of this is doable. Many of you already are. That's the message. I told you to be positive. It is. Dear ones, we sit here and we see potentials based upon this wind at your back that you've never experienced before and you're about to experience with pure intent and compassionate action Nothing can stop you. Expect benevolent change. Expect benevolent change. Mm. And so it is.